but because these crumbles are very small, I love putting them in the snuffle mat. The best part is these are not just the top rated best selling pet toys on Amazon. In addition to that, they serve a very unique yet important function and make sure you stay tuned until the end because I am gonna be revealing a brand new to market pet tech gear item that functions in a way that I've not seen. Starting off strong is going to be one of my favorite enrichment toys, well, one of their favorites, the Orby. And you might be saying, wait, Rachel, before you start talking about the toys, what is this magical function that you claim all of these toys can do for you and your pets? And that is mental stimulation and enrichment. Don't forget, mental stimulation is twice as tiring than physical exercise alone. You can fill this with your dog's kibble or some treats I'll talk about some of my favorites in just a moment. And then you invert it on itself. And as you can see, the treats fall down there and they have to roll it around, toss it up, and try to get the treats or the food out. And this creates a fun puzzle toy. And yes, everything I talk about in this video will be linked in the description below so you don't need to take notes. And why I love this one specifically is it is so super quiet, If as you can hear. It's like a hard, durable rubber. Now, my dogs, for context, are super chewers. Of course, anytime I give them a toy, a bone, a chew, I always supervise. This next toy does require a little bit of prep work, meaning you're getting them used to using it and teaching them how to use it. It has this good weight this uh, ball that you fill up that's hollow. You fill it up with their kibble or treats and at the push of a button by your dog, it'll turn this container around and dispense the treat down into this tray. And you can actually change the difficulty of this good weight Finnegan by opening or closing up the opening of the food more or less so that more treats will come out or less treats will come out. Again, that can extend feeding time because you can do this during meal time. Coming in at over 25,000 reviews on Amazon is the very popular Babala. I love this for all dogs, high activity, low activity, because it honestly is so simple and so genius. That's the other thing I thought about when picking these toys. Of course, I wanted the ones that had the most positive ratings, but I also wanted ones that were pretty easy to use so you could start today. And this is great because it's a treat or food dispensing toy. And all you do is you fill up the top part with their treats or their kibble, Finn loves it. Then they have to bob it around with their nose or their paw to get the treats or the kibble out. And what's great about it is in this top area, you can actually close the opening more or less to make it more challenging so the treats are stuck up into this first canister before they go down into the treat dispensing area. So they have to bob it along enough to get it to go from this top part down. Of course, you have the lid on it while you're doing it. And to take it a step further, as your dog gets better at this, you can make this opening smaller or bigger to make it easier or harder. When I'm first doing stuff like this with my dogs, I make it as easy and fun and positive as possible. So I want them to have a high success rate. And then after they get more confidence, I close the little thing to make it a little harder. And the treats that fit in here, I'll show in just a moment. This is great, especially for my high active Duke, because if your dog is like him, where they have so much energy, he'll take this and bump it around with his nose around the room for like 20 minutes. And by the time he's done with it, he's so exhausted because he's mentally stimulated and physically tired. Before I talk about this next toy, which has made rainy days a breeze, I want to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart because we're talking about things and items that enrich and improve our dogs' lives. And honestly, I can't talk about those things without mentioning pet insurance. This is something I'm asked about continuously and daily, which is, Rachel, what pet insurance do you use for your dog? And if you followed me for any length of time, you know that I have been a longtime customer of Trupanion Medical Pet Insurance. And the reason is, is when I first started looking into it almost 13 years ago, that's how long I've been with them. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Trupanion for supporting our mission to save all the damn dogs by supporting this part of the video. As I'm sure you're well aware, I have fostered dozens and dozens and dozens of rescue dogs in my lifetime through shelters and humane societies. And most of the dogs that have came into my care or into the rescues have some kind of health or medical issue. And what I 
have learned, and I learned this the heartbreaking way, is so many of these dogs are surrendered and given up by their families because they could no longer afford health or medical issues that their dog had. And this is heartbreaking. And it's why I preach at the mountaintops that if you have a dog today, whether they're an adult or you're thinking about getting a puppy, I highly recommend to consider pet insurance. And the reason is, is first off, the earlier you get with pet insurance, typically the lower and more affordable the cost is because you're starting earlier. In fact, when my mom brought home Wally, she had him signed up with True Pinion before she even brought him home at eight weeks old. And the sad truth is unfortunately, the odds that you or I are gonna be sitting in a clinic room with a vet sometime in the future with one of our pets and discussing an injury or medical condition that they have and their treatments that they're gonna need is relatively high. And the last thing that I want for myself or for you watching this is to be sitting in that clinic room with the vet or the vet tech and having to decide and make a choice between what we can afford versus what is the most optimal and best care plan for our pet. And that is something that nobody, nobody should have to go through. And it's just an important reminder that pets are a family. We insure ourselves, so why not insure them? Now, there is a downside to this, and I'll talk about that in a moment, but first I wanna talk about its cousin, and that is the Kong Wobbler. This also has tens of thousands of reviews. And here's the big difference. Now I have the large size in both. The big difference between these two is, well, let me show you this. So the Kong Wobbler, you fill it up with their treats or kibble and it has a weighted base. So then when they are pushing it around, it wobbles back and forth more, which is a lot of fun for a dog because it's kind of like they're chasing it or hunting it down, if you will. The biggest differences between these two in my opinion, is going to be the ability to clean it out. So I love both of these. I have three of these and we use these every other day or so, especially when the weather is really extreme or if I have a really busy work day and we use this really frequently as well. And I have a couple pros and cons. The pro of the Kong Wobbler, again, it's all linked below, is that you can take the top off. Yes, good weight, boys. You can take the top off and clean it out really easily. Or let's say you stuffed a treat in here that was a little too big, you can easily grab it out. Now the benefit of the Bobolot over the Kong Wobbler is with this one, you can adjust the difficulty so you can make the hole smaller or bigger because if the hole is too big your dog will be able to get all the treats out in like five minutes and it's not as useful that way this one you cannot adjust the difficulty so it kind of just depends on the size of treats the hole in this one is a really generous size so you can fit pretty big treats or kibble in here again I love both of them and I love using them in variety now this next item is the sustainably sourced one of the highest rated snuffle mats on Amazon the paw five woolly and this is a fantastic snuffle foraging mat and if you don't know what that is it's simply a mat where you can hide your dog's kibble or treats in here and then you sprinkle them about and then your dog sniffs and forages it out. This is one of the most enriching activities for a dog because it's highly engaging one of the most interesting and important organs on their body, which is their nose. This almost immediately reduces dramatically stress, anxiety, boredom, hyperactivity, especially my dogs, because it really gets them to engage their full body potential. One of the reasons I like this one specifically is it works great for smaller dogs as well as my 60 pound dogs can last them a while because it has a lot of really tightly woven and close together pieces of fabric that make it really difficult and challenging for your dog to have to sniff through. So it takes them a while. They don't go through it as quickly. Now this brand specifically, again, not sponsored. I bought this with my own money was as great because they use 100% organic cotton fibers. It's like I said before, sustainably sourced and they manufacture it focusing on factories that support equality for women and this is 100% machine washable. My dogs have never tried to chew on it and in the beginning when I was teaching them how to use it, uh, if they did seem interested in biting on the actual material itself, I would just simply calmly take it away. I would not reprimand, not, not punish. And then 10, 15 minutes later, I'd come back and try again. I always supervise, as I said before. Now, two treats that work really well on this. 
first off is actually something that's kind of new to the market, a really top seller so far on Amazon, are these freeze-dried beef toppers. This is freeze-dried beef, beef liver, beef heart, and a little bit of beef kidney and herring oil. And they freeze-dry it, they are humanely harvested, by Vital Essentials, good weight, and they freeze dry it into these little crumbles, which is really cool because this is actually a complete and balanced food that you could rehydrate with some water, add as a meal mix-in or meal topper if you have a picky dog or you wanna add some real high protein additives to your dog's food using real whole foods. And because these crumbles are so small, it makes for a much more satisfying and long lasting foraging experience for my dogs. A couple more treats that I love to use in there, these raw paws treats. These are freeze dried green beef tripe. This is extremely nutrient, sorry Bubby, extremely nutrient dense and I've actually had a chance to connect directly with the company. So it's been very cool to kind of elevate what they're doing because they are sustainably and responsibly sourcing their products. Obviously and evidently pet first, not just profit first. It's really high quality. There's no added corn, no added fillers, no added starchy ingredients. It's literally single ingredient, highly motivating for dogs. You touch. Yes, good boy. They're being so patient. And two other treats that have been a big game changer in my household, front of the pack, these farm-raised rabbit treats. Again, these are 100% single ingredient and they are rabbit. No added fillers, nothing. When I really love that because rabbit is a novel protein. So if you have a dog with allergies, sensitive tummy, or they're very picky when it comes to treats, these could be an awesome option. And it's just a great way to add a new novel protein to your dog's diet or their treat regime. And another one are these Icelandic two ingredient treats, which these ones are literally just Icelandic cod and salmon. I've been a huge brand of Icelandic for the longest time because they sustainably source all of their ingredients. Uh, they use sustainable packaging. There's zero added fillers, artificial ingredients, dyes in their treats. Uh, it's a really cool company that again, I've been able to connect with directly. So I feel really confident feeding it to my dogs. And what's really important about these is these are rich in healthy omega-3s, which is an essential fatty acid, which means our dogs cannot produce that on their own yet they need it in order to sustain life and thrive. It's important for brain health, heart health, and of course skin and coat health. So I really, really love the fact that I can add some healthy omegas through yummy treats with these Icelandic. Again, all of it will be linked below. Now, before I talk about the brand new to market pet tech gear that has blown my mind, I wanna ask you a question. Comment below, of these five enrichment toys, which one would you pick for your dog and why? Help everybody in the comment section below because we're all on the same mission, right? We're trying to and striving for happier, healthier pets. And we all know that giving them some fun activity throughout the day is really important. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Now, I wanna talk about this product. You've probably seen this because it is the number one, based on my research, pet treat dispensing cam on Amazon. Thousands and thousands and thousands of views. But while it may look like a traditional Furbo pet nanny cam, this isn't just the standard one. This is their newly released model. It literally came out today. I had a chance to really get to use this. And if you're not familiar with what this is, it's a treat dispensing nanny cam. So what's great about this is when you're gone away from home, you can keep an eye on your dog. And it got so many amazing reviews on Amazon because it has high quality HD camera, two-way audio, but the differences in this newest model, this is their Furbo 360, is that it does just that. It has a 360 degree radius and it can turn on its base and it will have auto tracking or you can manually turn it via the app on your phone. What that means is that you can always see your dog or your cat wherever they are in the room, which is amazing. It also has night vision, which isn't super exciting, but this new Furbo 360 has night color vision. You can actually see in much more vibrant colors and much more detail with this new one. It also has home protection and security options that you can add that will detect automatically smoke in the room, CO2, glass breaking. It'll even tell you on the app if it notices a person in the room versus an animal and it auto detects. So it'll go ahead and scan the entire time you have it plugged in and ready to go and will tell you your dog is barking versus your dog is whining versus your dog is active versus your dog is howling. It'll tell you all of that, which is really insane to me when 
Finnegan starts walking back and forth in the room to look out the windows, it'll say, hey, your dog looks like they're a little bit more active. Do you wanna check on them? Of course, you can send them and shoot them treats at different lengths, which is a lot of fun to positively reinforce positive behavior or just interact with your dog. And of course, two-way audio, so you can talk with your dog back and forth. In addition to that, it does what they call your dog's diary, where it'll capture the fun and different unique things that your dog did throughout the day while this was recording in the cloud. And it'll give you a little 60 second diary at the end of the day of like the fun moments with your dog, shooting them treats, or if they were kind of moving around, or if they came up and did a little selfie in the camera. And it does have 4X zoom. So if you are looking for a nanny cam, I just wanted to highlight this because I have not seen a pet nanny cam that does that 360 turn radius with two-way audio, with full HD and color night vision. I just haven't seen it before, so I wanted to highlight this. Now, if you wanna join in on my dog food series and learn more about my favorite foods for dogs, click the video right here. Or if you wanna learn some more about leash tips, click the video right here. And I hope you have a beautiful day, goodbye.